Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexa, oh, so bright. Alexis Sunshine 83 right here, hello, hello. Super sunny Sunday, oh my goodness. Today's video, it is another 50% off savers sale. Basically, they do this, I would say, every other month where they just have everything 50% off. I haven't been to one in quite a while. Um, I kind of have to hurry in this intro just because they are about to open and holy moly, there is quite a line. I'm just like not in the mood to like have a plan. I'm just in the mood to enjoy some good thrifting, save some money, good deals, and hopefully not get pushed because this is probably the most people I've seen at a 50% off sale in quite a while. Oh, the doors are opening. I'm so happy. We got a cart. It was a little bit of a wait to get a cart. But we got one. You have to have one on 50% off day because you're literally going to pick up everything. So I think I'm going to go through the t-shirts first, the guy t-shirts, because that, I don't know, I just love these t-shirts. I'm definitely not finding a bunch, but I'm just kind of grabbing. I usually like never go into the best section, but now I'm like obsessed with this, so. Ooh, it's from Zara. Just doing what I normally do. Oops. Drops yeah, just doing what I normally do. I just go through every single thing. This is maybe cute. In the t-shirt section, going through the medium, but I think I'm going to do better in the large. I definitely actually have found a good amount, not a bunch. I'm now going to go into the jean section just to see. I mean, I've already gotten enough jeans uh, from the last Savers uh, thrift with me, but why not? Always oh, gotta love a wolf piece. And we made it into the dressing room. I got the big, massive dressing room, which is awesome. Honestly, it is probably one of the most overwhelming 50% off sales I've ever been to. I don't know why everyone is just like, Bleh. I'm gonna calm down, try some stuff on, and see if hopefully something works. The shirt is originally from Urban Outfitters, actually, and color-wise, very interesting. I don't know if it was like tucked in, if I would like it more. I haven't, like, thrifted a striped shirt in quite a while. This one also has some pink in it, which I usually don't wear, but honestly, I kind of, I kind of like it. This sweater, it is cream, which I do like, but it's like really see-through, so I don't, I don't know how. And then I mean this shirt, like, don't. Quite a bit of this. Kind of weird, I thought this was a hood, but it's not. Uh, I do like the shirt for like, I don't know, with like high waist and jeans, but whatever, I don't know. This sweater is originally from Zara, it's kind of like a crop sweater. It is so cozy, I definitely wouldn't wear it with like these jeans, I'd wear it with like some of my mom jeans, but <gasps> yay! I definitely like the idea, it's like a fuzzy um, vest, but I don't know, I just don't think it would actually go with my style. I just to go into the guy section one more time and I found this, it has Tigger Winnie the Pooh, but where it hits, I would end up tucking it in so I, you wouldn't even be able to see Tigger, which makes me so sad. I can't tell if this is the worst thing I've ever seen or the best thing, it's like a purse that's made out of shorts or like Wrangler jeans. 
All right, so I finished up, I got all my goods. I ended up spending about $19, which would have been 40, yeah, sorry, math. That would have been $40. Um, I'm gonna head on home, show you guys what I got. I feel pretty good about it. I went through the store like a couple more times before I was done. I don't know about you, but whenever it's like time, where I need to check out, I like get really anxious and I'm like, what, maybe maybe I need this, maybe I don't need it, I don't know, I can just like never decide. So I feel pretty good about everything that I got to, and I will show you guys when I get home. Hello, um, it's been like a week, I actually already filmed this part of the video, but I just like didn't like it. And honestly, I figured because this actual thrift haul for the Savers sale, the 50% off sale, wasn't like that big, and I ended up between the time that I filmed the actual thrifting part to like now I've been thrift shopping and have just found a couple things here and there. Those things that I picked up won't make like an entire like video haul. So I figured I would just show it in this video. So hopefully that's okay that this is like my Savers 50% off sale thrift haul plus collective thrift haul. I'm first gonna start out with the stuff that I actually got on the sale and everything would have been about $40 but it ended up coming to like 19. So first we're gonna start off with some stripes and I am so excited. I have not bought stripes in such a long time. I don't know what's happened. I just like have been finding so many like graphic tees that I haven't really been focusing my attention on any stripe things. So this one is originally from Forever 21 and it's just a black and white striped shirt with a nice embroider that says girls on it in red. And I just really, really like that pop of color. I love that it's striped, but then it's something a little bit different with kind of the embroidery on there. I just thought I can definitely kind of mix this in with my style with adding some stripes. Also, I really like that the collar is black. I think that's just a really nice detail. Like I said, it was originally from Forever 21. It was in a small and it was supposed to be $4.49, but I got it then for like $2, which I think is pretty awesome. And I'm just ready for my stripes face to come back in because I miss it. I was about to say if you guys watched the thrift with me which that um anyway you saw my reaction when I saw this shirt I was in love. I actually had a sweatshirt that had a like Starbucks and Disney theme but I ended up um selling it on my Depop. I do kind of miss it but this one I feel like I definitely will wear more than that which is just this oversized Disney Starbucks t-shirt, it says Starbucks coffee, but it has Mickey Mouse in the middle. And it's just a shirt that obviously somebody like maybe printed like DIY themselves. Um, it doesn't have a brand or anything. It was supposed to be $5.49 um, and I got it 50% off and it is in an extra, extra large. I am a hardcore coffee addict. I love coffee. I drink it every day, sometimes twice a day. It's a problem, but I'm also a Disney addict. So having my two loves in one shirt just makes me so happy. I honestly haven't been wearing sweaters that often. I don't know why I just like have it. And I saw this and I love it so much. I love that it's cropped. I don't have any cropped sweaters. Um, it's originally from Zara and it was supposed to be $11.99, which I don't think I would have paid $11.99. Honestly, I probably would have gotten it, but for 50% off, I was like, okay, I'll do it. But it just looks like this, this um, really nice cream color. It doesn't have any like holes in it or anything. It's actually in really good condition. I uh, have two cream sweaters that I love them so much. I actually have to tell myself not to wear them as much because I love them and like wear them all the time. So this is a nice little, it's a little bit different, but still the same. This one was a last minute item. I still kind of feel like on the fence about it, but I had thrifted like a car shirt. I don't, I don't really know, like a couple of months ago. And I love that thing so much. And I saw this and I was like, I can, I can make this work. It was supposed to be a dollar 99. So I only got it for 99 cents, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, it's in an extra large and it just says Lucky's on it. It says truck and forklift. Rodeo. I, uh, it's a truck company of some sort. It's in a very like washed white. Like this one has been washed so many times that it's not like that bright white anymore, which I actually really like. Yeah, this shirt has been around and stuff. This, I definitely am just like totally on the fence about. I really don't know. I kind of regret buying it, but at the same time, I'm like, and this one is actually from Urban Outfitters. It is just an oversized, it's a guy t-shirt. It's in this like lime green color with some brown. Really don't know. This one is like totally on the other side of the spectrum. I honestly don't know how I feel about it, but I think the fact that it was from Urban Outfitters kind of like got me, which is why I'm like, oh, maybe I should have like kept it on a little bit more and really thought about it, you know? But I definitely think I'm gonna still try to make it work. I may just sell it on my Poshmark. I'm not sure yet. Um, it was $4.99, but I got it 50% off. It's in a large. It's just 
Nervous Eyes t-shirt. This one, you also saw my face when I saw it. So happy about it. Um, it is originally not from anything. I think somebody just like printed it off themselves, so, like DIY'd it. It's supposed to be $2.49, but I got it 50% off and it's in a medium. It is a little bit tighter. I do wish it was like on an oversized shirt. Oh my God, that would make me so happy. But like, I definitely will still wear it. Um, it just says, Black is my happy color, which is 100% true for me. It definitely will be rocking this because for me, I do feel the most comfortable in all black. I have implemented more colors into my wardrobe. Pretty proud about myself. But at the end of the day, black is my happy color. <laughs> now, these ones are just like little random pieces that I've just kind of accumulated over the past couple of months that I haven't just like shown. The first one I have shown on my Instagram, which is this velvet. It's like a green velvet um, overalls. And these ones are amazing. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it. And it took me a little bit to be like, okay, like I'm digging it. It's originally from a company called Moda Intel. This with like even just a cream colored sweater is my favorite thing. Um, it is quite long on the edge. Um, I really need to sew it like really bad. Um, but right now I just have like a whole bunch of um, safety pins on there. It's nice and oversized, it's loose, it's comfy. I just love this thing so much. These two are from a thrift store called Angel View. Um, it's just a small little like, thrift store, everything's probably under $5. I actually filmed a thrift with me in there, but it was really small and it was just kind of hard to film. So I decided to kind of like scrap that. I actually got um, my butterfly poster thing um, from there for like $3. And this, I only found two things, but these two are so awesome. This belt, it's like a bottle cap belt and it's so interesting. It's very industrial. It's literally like a seat belt. Um, and I didn't know how it was actually gonna fit, but around the waist, you can kind of like, eh, you can um, adjust it to make it a little bit tighter. And I just love this thing so much. I think it's such a unique piece and it just has the coolest bottle caps on there. It was only $3.99 and yeah, I am just really into this. I then got a, another wolf tee. Um, this one is actually originally from Yosemite National Park. This one was $3.49 and it's just a purple wolf tee. A wolf, you know, howling in the forest with a moon. Um, I just really like it. I love wolf tees quite a lot. And this one I, I like needed to get. Um, and with only being, you know, $3.49, I couldn't. I couldn't pass it up and I, the rest of the items um, I got at Plato's Closet one other time, random times, I don't know. Um, the first thing is this yellow striped shirt. Yes, got another striped shirt. And I really, really like this yellow. Oh, it's so cute. It's originally from Brandy Melville. I got it for $9. I just really, really like it. I know I will be wearing it. It's so weird to think that spring is coming and I'm just like not prepared for it. I am definitely in like a winter mode right now. So I figured this would be really nice for spring. I actually really like the color yellow, but I just never wear it. So I'm hoping this spring I will buy more yellow stuff. We will see, but this is the first edition. Now I couldn't pass up another denim jacket. I do feel a little bit on the edge about this one. Don't know if I should have really gotten it, but I already got it and now we are here. It's originally from the Mirage in Las Vegas. The reason why I got drawn to it is because in the back it has like the different color palm trees and then it says Mirage Las Vegas. There's a little bit of a stain. I don't know how much I paid for this. I want to say probably like eight or ten dollars, which I think is pretty good. And I just really like denim jackets. It is a little bit oversized, which I like. I really like the color of it. I think because it does have the different patterning in the back, I was like, I don't have anything like that. So I do feel good about it. It's you know, pretty simple. I actually showed you guys this one on my Instagram when I got it because I was so excited and I actually haven't worn them yet. I really need to wash them because they're a little bit dirty. So I need to like put some alcohol or something like that. They are these sneakers they are from Nike. They, I got them for $22 and they are in my exact size. Now I will say probably the hardest thing for me to thrift are shoes. I was actually shocked. I saw them and I was like, oh great. Here's another like pair of shoes. That's not my size. And they are in my size. It just has a really nice like marble detail. I don't really own anything like this and I think it will really like make an outfit just kind of like bump it up a little bit with some personality. Then I finally found my perfect bag. I'm so happy about this. It's denim. So just imagine this. I'm wearing, you know, denim. I was about to say denim shoes. I'm wearing denim pants and a denim jacket and now I got a denim purse. Look at it. 
it is amazing. I got it from Plato's Closet, I believe, and don't remember how much it was, but it is the perfect size. It has so many compartments. It has a front compartment, it's got like this compartment, and then it's got this compartment, and I just love it. I really want to put like patches and pins on it, and because it is denim, I can do that. It just fits everything. It fits my camera, which is amazing. You can like wear it off the shoulder, you can wear it to the side. I don't know. I apparently, I've never been in love with a purse so much and it has like, we just had a just full fun time of talking about thrift clothes. I feel so happy about everything that I've purchased and gotten in the past like month or so. One of my biggest like YouTube goals for this year was to go to different thrift stores. And so when I went to the 50% off sale, I just went to my normal like savers that I always go to and it kind of like I don't know, it just didn't make me as excited. So what I'm really trying to do with my thrift with me's is go to different thrift stores. Maybe not even necessarily like a different thrift store, but a different like city where the thrift store is. I don't know, it just makes me feel more excited for like sharing it with you guys because I don't get bored with, with filming thrift with me's. I love them so much, but I wanna keep them exciting. So if you guys do like thrifting, thrift hauls, thrifting with me's, make sure that subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also to keep up to date with me during the week, make sure that you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, alexandshine83. I will see you guys this Wednesday with a brand new video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye.